I'm really excited about this video because I had been planning on doing a reaction to Kelly Bannon's new music video for Church Clothes. I'd heard the single Church Clothes, so I can't really do like an honest first impression, but I have avoided watching the music video. Uh, but here's where this gets really fun. Kelly Bannon hosts this incredible podcast that I listen to every week called This Nashville Life. And last week, This Nashville Life mentioned this series of videos that I'm doing now in a little clip. I'll, I'll try and play a little bit of it right here if I can figure out how to pull it. If you're a nerd nerd about music, I want to point you to something that this guy that I know is doing, and his name is Grady Smith. He does a YouTube video that's like him reacting in real time to the song. <laughs> He also super famously did one of those like absurd mashups where they like took a bunch of country songs and put them together to point out like in the height, height of bro country, like how in his opinion, how very, very similar they were. What he's doing as far as reacting in real time to the song as someone who has experience writing professionally about country music for like a legitimate newspaper and also being a music lover. It's just good old-fashioned entertainment. So they mentioned me, and I was like, wow, little does Kelly Bannon know that I've been planning on doing uh, a reaction to her video just because I think this song is really cool. And I was like, dang it, why did I listen to the song before I could react to it? Kelly Bannon, if you didn't know, was signed to a major label in Nashville for years. Uh, she had a few singles, but none of them quite took. And now she's doing this really cool thing of kind of letting you behind the scenes of what it was like as a uh, major label artist on her podcast, but now she's uh, releasing this music independently and the song Church Clothes is super cool. So I figured I would check out the music video and um, which I have not watched yet and let you kind of know what I think about it. So let's try it. So we're in the forest, very dressed up. The song has a lot to do with the clothes. That's why I'm wearing a collared shirt today. Okay, so we're at a wedding in reverse. Dress shirt, you tuck it in, curl in my hair, pink on my cheeks, barely thin. A proper skirt hits at the knee. I hit the Oh, I love these verses because they're so about all the meticulous ways we try and present ourselves. So we got this dark and light thing happening with her dresses. You know, at the wedding, she's in this kind of gorgeous white dress, and we see her in some solo shots in all black. So I think this is supposed to be a very solemn wedding, not really, we're not feeling like this gushing love because this song's so much about like, no one knows the problems we're having as a couple when we're this dressed up and putting on a, a pretty face. Hmm, what a smart line. We give it our Sunday best. Wow. I'm picking up so much on the songwriting of this that I didn't notice the first time I heard it because I've been avoiding listening to it again and geez, it is such a well-written song. Man, so he came close to getting his own place, and nobody knows that when you're wearing your church clothes. So the guests are kind of disappearing from this wedding, and we're stripping off all the appearances, it looks like. Huh. Look at her, she's all alone. Man, I feel this sometimes. Like, weddings even can be so about presentation, about like, let's get everyone to look at us for a whole year on Instagram. And, uh, but really, you wonder, gosh, do they feel alone? Because it feels like this is overcompensating. Wow. Man, I heard things in that song that I've never really noticed before. That little line about we, we give it our Sunday best. And uh, let me let me close out of my little viewing screen here and really talk about this song because that was awesome. So that song is incredible. Um, it was written by Liz Rose and Nicole Galleon, I believe. And they are incredible writers. 
in general, but that song, what I think is so cool about it, the song Church Close, is it's one of those songs where you're almost like, what's the point of this? You kind of, it's like, it's not a breakup song. It's not an I love you song. Um, what I like about it is it's a song that is, it's, its purpose is for the audience. It's an artist saying, I can put on appearances. I can, you know, hide the problems I'm having in my relationship and nobody knows when I'm wearing my church clothes. There's something just confessional about it and it's for the good of the people listening to it, if that makes sense. It's interesting because songs like that are, are like you're bearing your soul. Why? Because it's good to, somehow. Kelly sounds really amazing on the song. Uh, there's a fullness about her delivery of this song and a real conviction in the way she delivers the lyrics. And I think she gets the face just right in the video of that sort of convicted stare. She nails it. That's like definitely my favorite vocal delivery from her. I'm really, I'm really so excited. I think you can feel that I'm so excited. That video, all in tones of like cream and uh, that kind of forest greens and browns. You get all those wedding colors. And I love that it just kind of strips it all away at the end. That the guests disappear and that it's just Kelly standing there. Because it's such a song about feeling alone. I think that's an important message for people to hear in a kind of Instagram generation. And especially in kind of the church community. Look, I go to church. I'm a Christian. And I understand that there can be such a curated vibe about the way that we photograph our succulents and uh, the way that people will post like a perfectly open journal with a coffee cup. There can be so many appearances that other people resent and I understand that. And I love that this song is sort of poking at that and saying uh, there's a real pain in everybody behind the church clothes and behind the smiling faces and behind the beautiful Instagrams. I'm so blown away. I love that people are playing this song. I want so badly for this to be this kind of breakout hit because Kelly feels very passionately about it and with good reason. It's smart and it's giving and it's good for the audience and it's reminding us of a common humanity. I'm just proud that she's put it out and I'm excited to watch it and I love the video and it had like a good number of views on it and I know it's doing well on Spotify. It came on a playlist the other day and so uh, my my sincere hope is that Church Clothes keeps taking off because that is substance and that is real and country radio can always use more real in my opinion. So um, bravo Kelly and Liz and Nicole. What a song and I, I can't wait to see where it goes from here. Bye guys.